a new high-tech Immigration and Checkpoints Authority Center will launch in 2023, and it'll be open 24-7. Ariel Lim with more. This building along Kallang Road is where people have been going to make new passports and identity cards for over 20 years. Come 2023, they'll come here, a new 10-story integrated services center. It'll be built on the open-air car park next to the existing building, which will also get a makeover. The new one-stop service center is to meet growing demand and manage crowds. It'll also be more convenient for customers who can now collect different documents from a single place. And they can do it 24-7 with high-tech self-service kiosks. This is one of the possible technologies behind the self-service kiosks for passport collection. After a person's identity is verified, the passport will be automatically retrieved and sent for collection. The entire process could take only up to 15 minutes. The centre is also designed with the elderly and disabled in mind, with staff to guide them. The agency's tech boost is also happening at the checkpoints, with a new clearance concept by 2022. It's meant to make crossing the border a breeze. And one idea being trialled is this face and eye scanner, which could allow people to clear immigration without showing their passports. In the future, ICA is hoping to become more paperless with electronic arrival cards and visit passes for foreigners. A challenge you all know, shrinking labour force, ageing population. So attracting Singaporeans to join ICA in a smaller pool is always going to be more difficult. And as with every other home team agency, there's got to be a transformation both in terms of uh, technology and operations. These come amid traveller volumes rising by 42% in the past 10 years. ICA continues to face increasing demands at our checkpoints and our services centre. In addition, terrorism threat remains high. The agency added it wants to provide a secure and seamless immigration process and do reviews to make sure the changes are meaningful.